In this video, we are going to find out how to find the measure of the central angle given the radius and the arc length, the intercepted arc length. Um, now, I find it most convenient to start with radians, even though ultimately we're going to have to find degrees as well. So if you know radians, then you've got this uh, really simple formula involving arc length which goes like this. Um, the arc length is just the radius times the central angle. So look how short and simple that formula is. So I love it. Um, the arc length is 9, so that would go right here. The radius is 5, so that would go right here. Okay, and so if I wanted to find uh, the angle in radians, I would simply divide both sides by 5. Okay, nothing could be simpler. Okay, so in radians, um, theta is equal to 9 fifths. All right, that's it. That's the exact answer in radians. All right, now we're supposed to also find the answer in degrees. So to do that, which I'm going to do on like scratch paper, um, if I want to convert from radians to degrees, now technically radians don't have units. Um, you know, like degrees, we put a little circle on it for degrees. Radians, you're not supposed to put anything on it. Um, but just to make it obvious what I'm doing, I'm going to just write the word radians in here. Radians. Um, just so you can see me sort of cancel it out. So uh, there's a conversion factor that converts back and forth between uh, radians and degrees. And uh, sometimes we will wind up doing pi radians which we normally don't write the word radians, but pi radians over 180 degrees. Um, pi radians equals 180 degrees. So this has an overall value of 1. Um, so that's the same thing as if we have 180 degrees, I'll just abbreviate, over pi radians. Okay, I just saw a spider and it made my handwriting go skirt like that. It scared me. Um, I have to get the raid in a minute, but I'm going to finish this problem. All right, because I'm tough. I'm tough. I'm tough like that. That's why I jumped. Um, anyway, so I've got 180. Oh, yeah, so the question is um, how do I know which, which one of these to use? Well, if I have radians already. I need to cancel out radians and be left with degrees. So I need to pick the version that has radians in the denominator so that it will cancel out. So that's why I'm going to use this version in order to convert from radians over to degrees. So I have 180 degrees over pi radians. All right, so radians cancel out, and that leaves me with degrees. Okay, great. That's fantastic. Um, so this is going to be, um, let's see, what's 9 times 180? Let me just double check to make sure that I'm right about what I already know. Um, no, nah, you know I didn't know that. So 1,620. So I have 1,620 over 5 pi. So this is actually degrees at this point, OK? Um, so if I wanted an exact answer, uh, this would be it. But uh, something tells me that we're supposed to go ahead and rock this in uh, decimals. All right, so let's see. 1,620 over 5 pi. 
Okay, so this is approximately 103.1 degrees. Okay, let's go ahead and record that over here. Okay. All right. I really want to know where that spider went because I took my eyes off it and now it could be anywhere. All right. Men scream sometimes. I'm just, I'm not saying I'm going to scream, but I'm just saying that um, it's okay for a man to scream. I just feel like that should be said. Um, Okay, this last problem is going to work the same way, same exact way. So here we go again. The arc length is equal to the radius times the angle. Okay, and uh, in fact, another way to think of this, another version of the same formula if I just rearrange this to get theta by itself just as a formula okay like it, it goes like this alright theta is equal to arc length over radius okay so the angle is going to equal the arc length over the radius this is another version of the same formula um, and since we want the angle, then this is the version of the formula that we're going to use. So let's think of it that way on this problem. Okay, so the arc length um, is 15 feet. Um, did I forget that? Oh, yeah. No. So if we got 15 feet. Uh, and then the radius is uh, 4.5 feet. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what that is decimal wise okay so that's 3.3 .3. all right now it's rounded to the nearest tenth okay that's 3.3 .3. Uh, so this is what the answer would be in radians because when you're using this formula you're doing radians okay um, but I need to convert this to degrees because we're supposed to get it in radians and degrees alright so so far I have radians now I don't want to use the 3.3 .3 because I rounded that all right, so I'm really going to go back to my 15 over 4.5. I'm going to go back to that. Okay, and uh, let's see. I can use my notes here. So I have my, in radians, I have 15 over 4.5. And this is in radians. So I need to convert this over to degrees. And I'm going to use this conversion factor again. So I'm going to do 180 degrees over pi radians. And I know to pick this version so the radians will cancel out and simply leave degrees. Okay, so it's just a matter of uh, what this is. So um, really what you're about to see me do is I'm going to just put all this in my calculator, right? I'm going to put you know you're gonna see me put 15 um, you know what in my calculator you'll probably just see it like this I'll do I'll just go ahead and do 15 over 4.5 times 180 over pi and let's just see what happens okay 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 so um, so here we go 15 over 4.5 times 180 over pi okay so that's 190.98 
So I really would have to round this up. Um, so therefore we're talking about 191.0. And so that's what you would have in degrees. All right, um, that is the end of this lesson. I hope this video was helpful to you. I will watch out for you on the next video.